Hi, I'm Ash from Able12.com, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the file exist function in PHP. This function kind of is self explanatory, really. File exists, it checks if a file exists. You can use this for any file, really, but I'm just going to show you an example with a txt file. So, if I come into Dreamweaver here, and down here, if you look at my folder structure, um, as you can see, I've got an index.php, which is currently just blank, nothing there. Um, and a folder called files with a file in there called myfile.txt. Um, so what I want to do is to make a script to check if um, that file exists and then I'm going to show you how to actually implement this into a form so the user can type in a requested file to see if it exists. Okay so first of all I'm just going to create some PHP tags um, and basically what we're going to do is create a file and basically this is the uh, path of the file so file files forward slash my file.txt okay so we've got the file basically in later on I'm going to try how to put it into a form so that would now be what the user typed in well this one would be and then we're going to implement these on either side Okay, so now we've got that basically if if file underscore exists my screen's just gone blank. Sorry about that. Uh, and inside here we have the um, file. Oops. Yeah, the file there. Okay, so if the file exists, we can echo out to say um, this file already exists else we can echo out um, this file is screen has gone blank again I don't know what's up with computer today um, this file is not on this server, just something like that. Um, so as you can see now, if I just come out and refresh this page, you can actually see this file already exists. And if I just come over here and just change the name of the file, um, just for now, um, if I refresh again, we get this file is not available on this server. Okay, so if I bring this back to my file what I want to show you now is how to put a form around this. Um, so basically what we can do is, um, we come up above the PHP tags, create a form action going back to index.php. The method is post. We can end the form off there. Um, input type um, text. The name is um, file name, we can have it as. Placeholder um, enter a file name to chat. Now I have a feeling that might not be long enough. Um, I'll just keep it like that for now. Um, input type is submit, and the value is check. And we also a name onto this, and we've got a submit. Okay, so if I come out and refresh. Um, also, if one sec, if I just put an if around here, just to stop it from running the script on load page load. So if is set dollar underscore post submit. Okay, so when I come back and refresh the page, as you can see, it's not long enough. So um, size uh, thirty might be long enough. Yeah, just um, enter found name to be checked. Okay, and then they type in the um, a file name here, and then click check. Um, so now what we need to do is modify this code a bit. So this file is going to be not that anymore. It's going to be dollar underscore post and file name for what the user's entered. And then we're going to create a path, and this is going to be equal to the path of where the file is located. So it's files forward slash file and then we're checking for that txt you can also give a drop down um, 
in here so they can use it can select from a list of file extensions PHP, TXT, HTML and basically any file you can use this as um, so you can do that as well but I'm just going to put .txt on there specify it here just to show you as an example okay so then we can put if so we need to change this to path now um, and I think that should be good so let's just go back and refresh so if I enter my file click check I can see the file this file already exists or you, you can implement something like um, I'll show you now um, the file um, file already exists uh, we'll put on this server as well just keep it in line with this one and we can put once again the file file is not available on the server so if I now reset that data we get the file my file already exists on this server so basically what is in the inverted commas is um, what the user typed in so if I now check another file so I just put in file as you can see we get the file file is not available um, actually it is available so uh, is available on the server <laughs> there we go is the file file is available on the server my file already exists on the server there we go right so basically that's um, have a play around with the file exist function it's really easy to use I can see all you need is an if statement so if it does exist you put your code for if it exists else um, you can put something like there like another form or something saying um, do you wish to create this file such and such just stuff like that basic stuff basically this is just telling you how to determine if it does exist on the server um, so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time